Hi, and welcome to Majestic.Cloud. I am Laszlo, and today I'm going to show you how to run DynamoDB locally. This is the third video in uh, the SAM series I'm doing right now. Uh, so for those who don't know, SAM, or Serverless Application Model, is a framework from AWS for uh, developing and uh, running serverless projects and some allows us to uh, run uh, our lambda functions uh, locally also our um, um, API uh, gateway uh, endpoints and uh, one piece that was missing and uh, many people asked about it is how you run DynamoDB locally so this is what we are going to do today before uh, going in the next episodes over some more advanced topics so let's get started here I have um, my local SAM project uh, that I've uh, created and I want to run DynamoDB uh, here so uh, first of all what we need to do is to create a, a local network for docker uh, because uh, this is needed to be able to connect the different pieces together so the first thing we'll do is docker network create lambda local so here this lambda local can be anything you want uh, this is the name I, I've, I've given it uh, lambda local but you can give any name there so uh, the network is created and now uh, we need to um, run a docker uh, the docker image for DynamoDB so th this is done the following way docker run uh, we specify the network we created beforehand uh, lambda local so these two should be the same names here um, we will give a name to this uh, uh, container I will call it dynamo and this is important because this will uh, be used uh, as the endpoint name uh, you will see later so make note of this uh, we need to specify the ports the local port and the docker port um, this will be the port 8000 and then we need to specify the container uh, which we want to run dynamo oh dynamo db local okay so this will fetch if you didn't run this command before you don't have this uh, container it will fetch it and uh, it might take a longer time uh, because I've used it before it probably will be uh, pretty fast so I run it and uh, it initialize dynamodb local and it works now uh, let's open a new um, terminal window and see um, if we can uh, see the tables on, on this uh, DynamoDB instance so we will issue the command I AWS DynamoDB list tables and we need to specify the endpoint URL uh, and this will be in this case the local host uh, you can write here localhost as well, I will write this IP and uh, the port number we've set up earlier so oh I don't have a uh, region configured I need to export my uh, variable so export AWS profile MC demo okay and I do this again and you can see um, that I have no tables here so let's create a table we can do it uh, the following way I will paste a very long command and I will explain it because um, it's a bit long so uh, it's this one AWS DynamoDB create table we specify the table name which is users we define the attributes uh, the attribute name here is the the first one is user ID the type of the attribute and the key schema 
uh, we also need to define pre provision throughput, read capacity, write capacity, uh, and the endpoint URL. This is important because if you don't specify this endpoint URL which points to the local host, then it will create it online. So uh, let's run this and it should have created a table called uh, users and uh, one attribute name is uh, uh, specified here. So let's run again uh, the list tables command and you can see that I have a table name called a table called users. Now I will show you uh, my um, Lambda function that I've uh, created um, here in this uh, SAM project. I have this Lambda function here. Uh, this Lambda function uses DynamoDB and uh, I will uh, uh, create a user in the table table we just created. So uh, I will point out the important things here. Uh, I will also put in the vid uh, below the video in, on YouTube the link to the uh, GitHub repository where you can find all this code. So uh, and also the commands I've I've uh, run in the terminal that is also going to be on the GitHub uh, repo. So I will point out the important things here. Um, this uh, this line here. Um, if uh, we detect that we have a SAM local, so basically we are looking at the uh, environment we're running, and if we detect that it's AWS SAM local, then we set the endpoint to Dynamo 8000. And uh, you remember that I told you when you created the Docker container that that name is important. So here you should uh, you should use that name that you put there. Um, okay, now uh, here is the definition for the item we've creating, and here we put the actually we we put the item into DynamoDB. So let's uh, run this lambda function locally. Let's go back to uh, the terminal, and uh, we will invoke this function, and. Uh, this is done the, fo the following day way. Sam local invoke Dynamo Ops. This is the f name of the Lambda function. Uh, we need to specify a sample event, um, otherwise, it asks us to uh, enter it from the command line. This is just a dummy event I'm putting here. And it's important here this uh, part Docker network lambda local. This should be the same one as uh, you've created before um, when you created the docker network. And if you don't specify this docker network um, your lambda function might not be able to communicate with uh, uh, DynamoDB. That's what happened to me uh, I mean, at first. Uh, I didn't know about this docker network thing and Every time I try to connect to um, DynamoDB locally, the connection timed out every time. So after that, uh, I did a little bit of research and discovered this uh, Docker network trick. Um, this way we instruct them to run in the same network. So let's create uh, an item in um, DynamoDB by running this uh, local lambda function. So it should create an item in the table we've created before. Um, I received a status message which indicates me that uh, the, the item should be created. So now um, we need to see uh, what kind of uh, records do we have in this table. So that is done in the following way. You write AWS Dynamo DynamoDB scan we need to give it the table name, which should be users, and also we need to give it the endpoint URL, and uh, this will be this one I've given it before, also the port number, and you see 
Mara now uh, it shows me the items in in uh, this uh, table so uh, basically that's it this is how you uh, run um, DynamoDB locally how you uh, interact with it running commands and uh, also uh, this uh, lambda function shows you how to put an item in a local um, DynamoDB endpoint. So uh, I hope you liked this uh, video and uh, if you did then please uh, give it a thumbs up and uh, I hope to see you soon in another video about uh, serverless and the AWS cloud. Have a great day!